at Rumpapa, what we basically do is uh, Singapore Heritage Cuisine, and I've been doing that for the last few years. What we do for this National Day is something that we're going to do with every other National Day, and that is to have a collaboration of different chefs um, in Singapore, um, either Chinese, Malay, Indian, Peranakan, or Eurasian. So this National Day, we're going to have two very, very, you know, for me, important chef and a cook. One is a home cook, Vasun, that's going to do Indian cuisine. And I believe that, you know, a lot of people don't really understand Indian cuisine enough. For Chef Mavis, um, who I also admire, he does a different aspect of uh, heritage cuisine where he uses French technique on local heritage cuisine. Now, so you get these two symmetries uh, and of course you get mindful, uh, which, is, which is heritage and which is what I, I, I thought was a nice cohesiveness in terms of the collaboration. For me, it's a lifelong journey to learn uh, about my own cuisine. Uh, I think food is a lot more than what you put on the plate. Um, so uh, I like to understand who I am through food as well. So a lot of, um, when I grew up, I ate thosé and this is something that I go back to again and again because it's a simple but complex food and uh, I make it at home from scratch. We are a new restaurant at MBS. So we are around five months old. We still make modern Asian food. We are focused on East Asia, Ch um, Chinese, Hong Kong, Korean and Japan. So for this collaboration, we will be doing modern Chinese food. National Day is when all the different ethnicities in Singapore come together and celebrate it. And I've always felt that that's what's important about National Day. So whether it's Indian cuisine, whether it's Chinese with a modern twist, or whether it's heritage cuisine that we do, it has to come from the heart, right? Because that's what we're about. We're about, you know, Singaporeans living in Singapore for a long time. And we want people who come for this meal to be able to taste food which they grow up eating. I think for me, Singapore is about home, when I, I think of home. And my food, when I think of home, is these flavours that I think about. Um, and uh, and interestingly, my I mean, when I had Thosa, because I grew up in Chiu Chik Chiu Chiet, and it's a dish that, regardless of any ethnicity, they enjoy Thosa. It cuts through and it's... It, it, so for me, that dish, uh, for me, Thosa is home and uh, relates well to National Day. The dish I chose to do uh, duck and also the char siu. Right? Both, uh, both are uh, things that we're eating. Uh, we call it sour roll. Yeah. So, sour ya sour roll. So, those are the things that really things that we go home and back in Singapore is all about. I would say going forward, uh, the heritage food definitely will change a bit uh, because as recipe change and uh, taste, taste start changes also. Each generation, when our salt level, our concept of eating healthy, all changes are. Uh, and the technology, like last time, we do have fridge, we do have freezer. So a lot of things are done differently. Uh. I think each generation will define their own what is heritage. It has to mean something for that generation. And, I mean, I like the idea that you have grandma's cooking as well. But I also think that I should take ownership of what is the heritage. It's only when I take ownership that it, there is this pride and joy in cooking it and talking about it and uh, spreading it. But, um, but I think it definitely will evolve. The amount of produce that we have in Singapore was unimaginable many years ago, like what we have access to. So that will evolve because my cooking technique for say a very old hand, it doesn't exist anymore, must change as well. And with mothers, it's, it's my mind telling me how food can actually be. You know, I I don't want to stay and, and and tell myself that I'm not going to accept anything else except what I do because I'm, I'm heritage, I'm very, very heritage. I think to get the younger people to come and experience what heritage is all about, you have to go to them and you have to be able to have the taste buds. So the millennials are important to me. If we can get the millennials coming here and eat the food, because there's modern and there's heritage, then they'll have an idea of how these two synchronize and become one.